This is our new module. This is uh, induction heater. So we have here uh, two coils, two coils, ceramic o-ring, ceramic o-ring, two coils, terminal block, SMD resistor and then diode, sort of, uh, I think, uh, diode again, resistor. So the input uh, DC voltage is 5 to 12 volts. We can use uh, a supply of uh, 5 volts up to 12 volts. And this one is the input, positive, negative, input current. What's this? Input current. Oh. Then we have three terminal black pin. Underneath, uh, we have this uh, s 42919 16b what is this this is a uh, capacitor 0 0.33 microfarad j6 150 kilohertz 1200 volts these two are capacitors And then we have this uh, coil as the heating element. I think it is made up of copper. And we're going to solder this into here. Here, the other one is there. Mm. adjustable power supply for our uh, supply for this uh, module so since uh, it is adjustable we can adjust the voltage and the current what I'm going to do is to current limit to limit the current so we can do that by calibrating the machine this uh, 
machine to 3.3 volts or 3 volts 3 and then shorting the terminal so we have now the 0.5 for 3 ampere we can now adjust the current we can limit the current for our uh, testing we're going to make it uh, 3 volt 3 ampere okay, 3 ampere and 3 volts then connect it to the our uh, induction heater So this is the why we're going to use this as a extension for our module. Let us now adjust the voltage uh, because according to our uh, module we can use uh, 5 volts up to 12 volts. We can adjust now it to 12, uh, 5 volts. Okay. 5 volts. Then our uh, positive is connected now to the positive. Then the negative to the negative. So power LED turns on the blue. You can see here the power LED turns on the blue LED. And we have now the 0.649 ampere, which is 5.14 volts equivalent now to 3.3 watts. 3.3 seven watts so there's no smoking here and uh, let us now try to insert the screw between the coils without touching the coil just between or in the center and then we can see here the current starts to increase then it's 919 watts and it is it whoo, it becomes hot it becomes hot There's something wrong with my finger. The, the tip of the screwdriver is uh, very hot. Okay. Okay. For uh, safety precaution, uh, just don't touch anything. Because we don't know if uh, it will... Uh, the board is damaged or... Uh, it is factory defective so just don't touch everything and uh, this is very dangerous as you can see here we have the 5 volts 5.14 again with 0 0.632 ampere and uh, equivalent to 3.252 watts we're now going to test this uh, wire this is uh, around 20 20 awg or equivalent to 0.8 millimeter 20 awg so this is 28 and we're going to insert it 
between the coil so you can see the current is and it's getting hot and it's smoking again it becomes 1 ampere 5 watts and it's smoking so the module works and then if we we're not using the wire it will go back to the original uh, measurement 5 volts 0.6 again it will increase the current also the wattage but the voltage is constant so it's smoking So it's working. We have now the circuit diagram of our uh, ZBS induction heater module. So this one is the module and then we have the supply voltage of 5 volts. 5 volts is the voltage supply because that is the required voltage for our module to operate or to, to make our module works. And uh, it is connected to the positive and negative. And this one is uh, we are using an adjustable power supply. And we adjust the supply at 5 volts. So our initial voltage supply is 5 volts. And that is our supply. And the output, we have this uh, coil. So here is the module, the coil, heating element. Uh, I did not use the terminal block output. Instead, I uh, soldered the coil into the outside of the module. And this one is the input voltage, which is 5 volts. The coil, some components, and then the capacitor. Uh, what makes this... Uh, induction uh, heater uh, how does it work the induction heater so when we adjust the voltage at 5 volts there is an initial current of around 0.6 ampere and then the as long as uh, when we when we have the wire we inserted the wire in the middle so here we inserted the wire in the middle it will uh, getting uh, uh, it will uh, in the middle, we're sitting the wire in the middle. The wire will will getting uh, it will uh, make the wire to become hot, or uh, the wire will uh, recall that become hot or hot become hot. The wire becomes hot. Why? Because of the what do you call that? Because of the the current of the coil. Even the wire is not touching the coil, but because of this uh, current called an eddy current. Eddy eddy current is present at the coil and this one is responsible for producing heat to the wire causing the wire to smoke or uh, becomes hot it becomes hot because of the eddy current and uh, since our input voltage is a DC the output is AC from DC to AC so AC here the current uh, flows back and forth to the coil that will produce the eddy current to the wire that makes the wire to to become hot or uh, and the current increases every time we have the wire inserted between the coil because of the eddy current or uh, because of the electromagnetic induction so input voltage is DC the output is AC and uh, because of the resonant frequency or the oscillator that will produce the uh, oscillation or the alternating current because we have the oscillator uh, circuit there is an uh, oscillator circuit 
We have the MOSFET here and then uh, some resistors, diode, and then the coil. Because of the oscillator, it will uh, make the circuit to oscillate, producing an AC and uh, making the current to flow, to flow back and forth counterclockwise, counterclockwise, and will produce this eddy current. Eddy current is the current that from the induction heating, current that uh, we produce from the induction heating of the coil. Because uh, because of this uh, true electromagnetic induction, the wire. 